Hey guys, Thunderhound369 back again for another little review tonight. Uh, before I call it an, e call it an end, uh, <coughs> pardon me. Uh, what I'm going to be talking about here in the next little bit is it's not a transformer, but it is a transforming toy. Uh, uh, I do have quite a bit of transformers in my collection in storage and uh, I would really love to have those guys out for you guys to see my entire collection but I just don't have the room or the space or anything to do that that's the reason why you saw the shelves in construction over here but the toy line that I'm getting ready to talk about <clears throat> also had an animated series to go along with it back in the 80s and I keep looking down here and I keep because I keep looking at the figure and I keep looking at the toy I'm sorry about that but, uh, yeah, this is something that I really, really would like to have had when I was younger. But, I mean, I had several vehicles from this series, and the series is called Mask. I had a lot of figures and a lot of vehicles from that series, mostly uh, Series 2 is what I had. But uh, I did have a couple Series 1s. But there was one particular Series 1 vehicle that I never managed to capture up until a few weeks ago. Let me go ahead and bring it on up here where you guys can see it. This is called the Mask Rhino. Now, I don't know how many of you people out there actually remember these. But uh, there are, there's a couple of reviewers out there that I've been watching here recently that have gotten me back into these guys. And look at the chrome on this thing. I mean, it is it just pops. I picked this guy up off of eBay. You're not going to most people aren't going to believe this, but I picked it up off of eBay, loose but 100% complete with all parts. Everything works, and very very minor chrome wear. For right around $60, $65. And when I got it in hand, I just couldn't. I couldn't believe it because I never actually owned the toy myself. I always wanted it, but I never owned it. So let's 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 put Rhino to the side. We'll bring in the driver. Mass driver by the name of Bruce Sato. You can see that. I don't want to try to get too close. I'll get too blurry because I'm not too familiar on how to work a video camera. But now the, the colors on this guy, the orange, the brown, it just stands out. He does have articulated arms. They do. They can go a full 360, but mine are just a little bit stiff, and I'm not going to take a chance on it. And does do this. Does not go back. His knee articulation, and that is it. Now, the mask on this guy, I don't know if I want to try to take a chance on pulling the mask off because every time I take the mask off of mine, it feels like the head's going to pop off. So, if it pops off on camera, guys, it's just another another to add to the blooper reel because that's what I'm going to be known for, it looks like. Yeah, whoops. Nope. The head is still attached. Just lucky. Now the head, the face, doesn't have a lot of detail because these things are tiny. I mean, they are tiny. And the masks, if you lose these masks, you can't hardly find them. I've seen the masks alone run for $10, $15 a piece. This, is my, this mask is called Lifter. Bruce Sato here is Mask's resident technical genius. His mask, I think, in my opinion, I could be wrong, but it had a way of manipulating gravity. He could lift almost anything, do almost anything with it. And we bring in the next guy here. Now the next guy is the leader of Mask, Matt Tracker. His uniform is red, black, sort of a dark gray. Nice mask. We pull the mask off. 
as you can see, not a lot of detail to the face on these things. Yeah, they're just kind of bleh. And here is Ultra Flash. Matt's Mask Ultra Flash. Now this thing, I'm not 100% sure what it did in the show. If anybody could remind me, I'd, I'd much appreciate it in the comments down there, 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 here somewhere. Um, I can't even remember in the comics what this thing did because I've got several comics of Mask. But I think it produced some kind of blinding light to disorient his opponents. But yeah, let's let's move on to the meat and, meat and potatoes of this review. What you all came here for. Now, there are two, two buttons back here on the back. Back here. It's two silver buttons. One operates the feature that I almost either didn't know it had or I had forgotten that it had. Boom! Ejector seat. Throw you right out of there. 65 mile an hour, you're out on the road. Your street pizza. Push this right back in. Close the door. Now as far as the back half becomes a little scout car. A little scout vehicle. And it can be a little finicky to pull out. We'll just pull that apart. And there you see axles are fully articulated nice chrome wheels and this opens up you can put a figure you can put a figure in here to drive around the little scout car he's got little laser guns here and there and yeah it's a very nice looking little scout vehicle let's let's move on let's finish up Rhino here Hopefully I got enough time. The other button to this side operates the battering ram. Like I said, the battering ram has very little chrome wire to it. Then what you, what you can do, also what this thing can do, it's like the mobile command center. This thing was like the workhorse of the series. It was like called out on every mission, it seems to me like. And what you do, pull this half back, pop this up, work this apart, and you've got like a missile launcher here. Pull the... I thought there was some kind of little button, little trick you could do with these smokestacks, but apparently I can't find it if there is. If somebody knows there's a trick, let me know. Because I've been doing this by hand. You can bring these little smokestacks. Pull them out. And be very careful of the mirror. These things do bring them down. And that gives you, I think it was a smoke screen, lasers, or something like that. I can't really remember. It's been a while since I've watched the show. And as far as the missile... I would fire it, but in this room, it's hard to tell where it would wind up. So, hopefully, let me try to get this thing against the wall over here. And the button to operate this thing. And that thing takes somebody's head off. Wow, I didn't know that thing had that much force to it. That's, that's a good toy there, people. That's back in the day. That's old school when you could shoot a missile at your buddy, put his eye out, and he'd go home crying to mommy going, look what he did, look what he did. And his mommy would just look at him and go, well, you're the dummy that let him shoot you. But today, nah, -uh, you do something like that, my friend, that's a lawsuit. But yeah, all in all, if you can find these guys on eBay, cheap, sometimes they pop up in flea markets, they're not in the best of shape at flea markets. Take my opinion on that. I've, I've seen a few. and uh, But yeah, guys, that's about all I got for Rhino. Matt, Bruce, everybody. I'm going to call it an end there. Rate, comment, subscribe. And until uh, we light our darkest hour, I'm out of here.